one is Sanya Birza. Uh, the other one is. And? Uh, Anyone else? One. So there were three that said Sanya Mirza and the other yes. one? San Sanya Mirza and uh, Soha Ali Khan. Yeah. Oh yes. my God, who said that? <laughs> who, got, who got it right? Yada, Yada. Yeah. Yada. Yada, Yada and Sir Devujit, uh, five, five points. <laughs> Yada and Sir Devujit, <laughs> five, five marks each. <laughs> That's Sanya Mirza and Soha Ali Khan. Uh, so I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you had a good week. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we okay, missed we... you last week. We missed you last week. Yes, I did. I I did join in between, but I just got disconnected again. It was kind of hectic last week with all the schooling of my kids. So somehow, even um, yeah. So how many of you? How many of you had a, a great a great week this week? I know staying at home is boring. You I mean there's no much of freedom, but Still said, okay, miss, but not bad. I am, my week is not that bad. Or how many of you had a bad week? No? All, all neutral? Try or try or neutral, neutral. neutral. Bad week? Okay, I got. <laughs> There's one tree is there. One tree had a bad week. No problem. Okay. All of us do have ups and downs. Okay. So, um, in continuation of what we've been doing it, okay, and then last week, uh, Sunny started with, uh, you know, taking care of our mental health and also our emotional well-being. And, you know, thanks, we, we came up with the acronym of SHAPE, right? So I'm sure you have, uh, Sunny, so Sunny have covered S and H. Since I was not there last week, who can who can help me quickly and say if you remember what was S and what was H all about? Just just maybe in one or two sentences, not just you know, not the whole session. Uh, I I thought we talk we talk about self. Uh, I mean selfie, was it? Whoa, selfie! Wow. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. What about selfie? Self-absorption. No, we are. Yes, yeah, oh. self-absorption. Okay, okay. Anybody else wants to add uh, to what Ms. Yada just uh, mentioned? About last week, S and H. Okay, never mind. Anybody can help me with H then? What was H for? Ha, 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 ha. I'm so happy. Remember? Happiness. Yes? Okay. Let me just check my slide. So last week, what we did, uh, what we did with Sasani was uh, we did on selfie, which was S. Okay. So you have there on your screen, like with what Ms. Yara said, selfie. Self-absorption, engaging, loneliness, fear of missing out, isolation, experiencing cyber bullying. And you know what? One thing which I was, as I was sitting and preparing for this session, I come across this one thing which Sir mentioned yesterday, uh, last, last week, was isolation, right? So many of us assume that, you know, the one thing which kills our dream is that we are not uh, we don't have the courage to, to, to chase our dreams or we're too lazy or we're too negative. But as I was reading, I found out that even isolation is one of the reasons which is, um, is called a dream killer. Yes, because why? Because what happens is when we isolate, we, we, we limit the, our, our contact with the right people. You just never know. There's some people you meet who will be your, for your help, you know? So, so I will encourage all of us is, even though, yes, we have to be at home most of the time, but let's not isolate ourselves because I don't want to, our dream should not be, you know, uh, left like that. 
So the, the other one, which is happiness. So I'm sure all of you are really, uh, you know, it, it, it's kind of tough in this season to think about happiness, but I'm sure we do find a small, small reasons which help us to be happy, right? So I'm not going to stress so much on S and H, which because all these uh, Sunny have spoke about it last week, but very interestingly, I, I get the opportunity to cover the remaining, which is ape. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? So Sir Sunny cover S and H. Now the remaining of shape is ape. Oh my goodness. So what I'm going to talk about ape. Can anybody help me with that? You know, can you suggest like, is there anything which is connected like shape is a whole, is it is a full acronym, but ape. Can anybody can guess what can this ape be? Yeah, anybody can just unmute or or just put in the chat or like, let us let us make the session more interactive. You know, I, I love to hear from you guys. Is it is A for active? Okay, okay, we got active. There's no right and wrong. I just love to listen from you guys. Okay, so keep keep coming, keep giving me suggestion. So we've got active. Anybody? Anybody for A? Absent. Can you hear me? More? Come Another on. one is I'm come, ma'am. Sure. Absent. Uh, is that, what is that, sir? Absent, absent. I think absent. it's been said okay. by okay. Don, sir. Oh, Don. Okay, okay. Hi, Don. Hi, hi. Because Sorry. I, I, attention. attention. Pardon me? Attention. Attention. Okay. What else? Anybody else? Okay, let me just give you a little clue. Okay, since we have been talking about emotional well-being, our emotional health. Okay, so the, the, the A, which we're going to talk about here is something related with our emotions. So when we think about emotions, most of us think about feelings, right? How we feel or what people make us, how, how they make us feel or how do we express our emotion. But as for the studies I've, or the research I've did, I, I found out that when it comes to emotions, emotions are so deeply connected with our experiences. Do you agree with me? It might be a good experience or it can be a bad experience, a sad experience, but the moment you think about emotion, experience, all the experiences with you go through or which you experience or, you know, for example, the, the, your, the first day you, you joined college or the, the day you got your results, you can, you can connect immediately the emotions which goes through, right? Okay, with further ado, let's talk about something like when it comes to A, okay, it, 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 is, it is something which, I, I, which is very, very important. All of us have this. Some of us have it very much. Some of us have it medium. Some of us have a little bit, but we do have this emotion in with us. Okay. And, and you know, and I the, the, can you guess what is it? Anger. No? Anger. Oh my God. Oh, very nice. Bullseye. Very nice. That is such on the dot. Yes, it's anger, you know? Anger is one emotion which we all have. Do you agree with me? Yes, some of us express it. Some of us, you know, have expressed it through our body, if not our words. Some of us, you know, we feel angry, but we just keep it in sight. We bottle it up, right? So the A which I'm going to talk about today is anger check. Let's do some anger check today, okay? And the good news is, please, it's not bad to be angry. Yes or no? It's okay to be angry. It's very much okay to be angry, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about anger management here today. I'm gonna keep it very simple and very practical that we can 
relate to our everyday life, our everyday uh, situations. Okay, so I'm not gonna go very theoretically. What is anger? How do we manage it? Yes, we're gonna talk how we manage it, but not theoretically. But I'm gonna approach in a very different um, way. Okay, so the, the how many of you, how many of you today say that? When it comes to anger, I'm like, yes, I always get angry, very fast. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> like I get angry very fast. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna say, oh my goodness, how, I, I didn't know that you get angry very fast. It's okay to get angry. Okay, but how many of you know that, you know, your anger is like just, duki hakmut. It's like just there in the tip of your nose, like something happened and boom, like a time bomb. How many of us have issues with anger like this? You know, like it, it just explodes anytime that you don't have, you know, you don't know what's gonna happen. So, so what I'm gonna talk about here is, uh, you know, anger, actually all of us, if you say that I, I, I get angry all the time, I have anger issues, okay? You're lying to yourself. Lying, do you believe any? Do you, I mean, it's so, so strange, right? You're lying to yourself that you are a person with anger issue. Why? I'll give you a situation here, okay? How many of you here likes to dance? Or you want to dance, or you want to try to dance? Like for example, for me, I, I don't know dancing, but I would love to learn dancing, right? So given a chance alone in the room, I would have, I will, I will dance when nobody sees me, but I will. How many of us were like, you know, I, I dance. I love to dance, right? So dancing is something which you do it. Yes or no? Somebody will force you to do it. Somebody will, you, or, or for some of us, it comes naturally to dance. The moment you hear the beat, you're like, I want to dance, right? Some of us can dance for five minutes. Some of us can dance for like half an hour or the whole day. For some of us, we find dancing uh, uh, as a place where we, we relax. So why I'm talking dance and anger here, you'll be confused. What? is she trying to say okay now when it comes to dance you have a choice yes or no i want i do i don't want i don't do but when it comes to anger also is the same like dance we have a choice but you say how come ma'am a person makes me angry i get angry how do you say i have a choice right somebody comes and says something which you know shouted at you for no fault of yours i get angry Right? Yes. But you still have a choice there. Now let's see how. I'll give you a story. Okay? I'll give you a, a metaphor here so that we can understand better. If in your workplace, okay, you go in the morning nicely with a very good mood, you reach your workplace and when you reach your office and your boss just shouted at you with no fault of yours, I don't know what is the issue of that anger, but he just, he saw you, he shouted at you, blasted at you. And, and you know, and, 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 then just, and what would you do? You just stand there, will you shout back and say, hey boss, that's not my fault. Or what do you do? What do you do? I want to ask you, if, if you are in the situation where you are in your office and the boss shouted at you, which is not your fault at all. So what would you do? Will you shout back? Or will you stop your boss and say, no. hey, why are you screaming at me? Or will you just stand there quietly and listen to his, or you will just bear his anger? Come on, give me some reaction. Yeah. Uh, if it was me, if it was me, ma'am, I would not react, rather I would respond. Eh, okay, okay, welcome to that, react and respond, I love that. Okay, okay. So, but you will not react. Awesome. I will not take response, but you will not react, right? So you'll just listen quietly and just listen. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? What would you do? Come on. Okay, no response. Okay, 
So which means none of, but so I'll assume because some, only one reply I got. Okay, yes, Don, anything you want to say? No, ma'am. If he is above, then like preventive health that it's better. Oh, okay. So you will just listen, but you will not just uh, say anything. Okay. So I will take the, the vote of these two. So assuming that all of us, we will not say anything to our boss, right? We'll just keep quiet and listen and not go and tell him, hey, how dare you shout at me at that? It's not my fault. We'll not do that, right? Yes. But so let's close the, 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 the office scenario there. Okay, imagine you went back home Okay, in the late evening after your work and you're so tired. And then some of us who have kids and some of us who have younger brother or sister, okay, you reach home and they say something to you which, you know, they say they come and complain or they say something to you, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? What would you do? You will immediately burst your anger on them. Yes or no? Yes or no? For example, if, if you reach home you're supposed to do something and you forgot. And then if your mom just shouted you, I told you, you're supposed to do da, 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 da. And what, what would you do? What would you do? Will you just listen quietly or will you just react and shout? If it's your sibling or friend, yes or no? React, react, react and shout. Right? We shout, <laughs> hey, don't you know? I just came back from work, I'm tired. So I, I will not fill, you fill in the blanks by yourself. Okay, right? So do you <laughs> see the difference here? We have a choice to express our anger, okay? We have a choice. The first scenario in the office in front of our boss, why we didn't express our anger in front of him, even though we know that it's not our fault, is because we know that if I react to my boss, I have a high chances to lose my job. Yes, I'll be jobless, yes. So let me just listen to all his anger. So when I go home or, or go home or I meet a friend, if they say something which is so tiny, the, 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 you know, the, the, the issue might be so small, but you react in such a way. Why? Because you know that if I, I react to this person I, I, who is so close and dear to me, they will be angry with me, yes, at that moment, but they'll be there. Where will they go? Yes or no? Is it is it is it yes. real or is, am I just talking from somewhere? Is it hyper? It is. Uh, is it real? Yes or no? Real. With our loved one, a family, we don't. It's very fast for us to be angry. Okay, anger. Let me just give you an example so you understand better. Anger is not like nature call. I hope you understand what's nature call. If you have nature call, you have to do, you have to do it. You just search away and have to do it, right? If nature call. But for anger, you have a choice. In a situation where you know that if I express my anger, there is a loss for me, you will, you will not express your anger. You will hold on to it. But if you are in a situation where you know that if I express or if I explode, my anger, I explode. It doesn't matter. You just go on, boom. But my dear friend, I want what I want you to understand is your one second anger can damage the relationship which you have. It might be with your parents, friends, colleague, spouse, children, okay? If that anger comes at the wrong time and in front of the wrong person, yes or no. So what I want to say is when it comes to anger, we don't have to go and you know go to all these therapy uh, sessions, classes and say, yeah, I have anger issues. The moment you understand, I have, all of us have anger issues, all of us, okay? Some of us have more, some of us have less. But the thing is, the moment we realize that we have a choice, that is the turning point when it comes to rescue our relationships. It's like a switch. Before, like what Raibatai said, I will not react, but I respond. So before I go and respond, I take a pause for that one second. 
Is my anger worth it here to express? They are situation, yes, you have to express your anger. Like Jesus said, be angry, but don't sin, right? So he said, so he didn't say don't be angry. You have the right to be angry, but it should not be a sin. It should not damage our relationship, okay? So anger is like a switch. We can on and we can off. Okay, I know my slides are not moving. Yes, so can you see here? All of us get angry. Even a child gets angry. All of us gets angry. So don't feel mad like, oh, I'm the only one struggling with this. All of us struggle with it. But the only thing is we have to realize that we have a choice. We can on and we can off. We can take a pause and sit and check. Will my anger damage this relationship? Is it worth it? Okay, because one minute of anger weakens the immune system for four to five hours, right? And one minute of laughter will boost the immune system for 24 hours. So we are living in a situation where we, are, we have to build our immune system. So we don't have to take medicines, my dear friend. Let's be happy. Let's reduce our anger. That's how we help to build our immune system. Is it interesting? Yes? Yes, ma'am. You think it's difficult? It's not. It's not. You just have to make it a habit. This is very, very important. Okay? Are you with me? Yes, yes? ma'am. Great. Yes, yes ma'am. Great, 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 great. I'm so used to having a, a live session where like I can see your faces, I can see your expressions suddenly to come on screen just like, I know what's happening. Yeah? So I can feel for Miss Yada and Sadabuji. I feel you, sir. <laughs> okay. Now, one thing also, which I, I, if you see, if you see here, my screen is, okay. How do I, how do I make a choice? How do I make a choice? Very, very important. And this is uh, what has been shared, talk a lot. I mean, I learned this from, from, from our mentors. Okay, that they all, he always says that, that work on the circle or the area or things that which is under your control right don't the 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 why why we go wrong is when we focus too much on the circle outside our control yes when it comes to happiness we depend on people to make us happy so when it comes to so when we get angry we blame others for our anger but actually the switch is in your hand Okay, so work, let us work. How do we work on our anger issue is, let us work on thing that is under our control. Okay, like for example, given there is your thoughts, your emotions, your efforts, how, how you react, your behavior, your presence, your words, and your time. That is very much under your control. So why waste our energy on the circle which is outside your control? People's action, people's word, people's behavior, opinion, feelings, that will go on. We can't change what they feel about us. We can't change what opinion they have about us, but what we can is us. Let's work on us because anger is just anger. Isn't it? it is not good. It is not bad. Okay. It is just what you do with it, what matters. It's like Anything else, you can use it to build or destroy. So the choice is yours, okay? So we've covered S for selfie, H for happiness, A is for anger. Let's check our anger because anger is like a switch. We can on and we can off, okay? So let's go to the next one. What is the next one? P. Okay, I want to I want to hear your response. What will do you, what do you think P is? Problems. Problems. Okay, I like that. Okay, anybody else? Perception. Perception. Wow, that's a strong word. Very nice. Okay, anybody else? Can be pain. Okay, pain. Mm -hmm. Pessimism. <laughs> Are me? Pessimism. Okay. 
Okay, that's a nice long <laughs> word. <laughs> okay, okay. To, to save time, okay, we're running out of time. P e here stands for pride check. Okay, how many of us say that? Oh, no, 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 that's not me. Pride is not me at all. I don't have pride. I'm. Not, I don't have pride issues. Okay. Yes. I don't, I don't deny that even I thought I was, I didn't have problem with pride, but as I was doing some research and I did some quizzes, I find, oh yes, I do have problem with pride, which I'm glad I came to know I have problem with pride. Okay, I just want to request Sir Sunny, if you can launch me the poll. Is it, if it's happening? Oh yes. yes, so in front of you, what you have is you have a poll. So I've just got 10 questions. What I want you to do is I just want you to just read through it and just say yes or no, yes or no. It's going to be, I'm not going to know who's going to, who, which, who's up, what answer. I don't, I don't know. It's very, uh, you know, I won't know the mm -hmm. person. So I just want to see, like, you know, I want you guys to just read through it right. and, and say, okay, mm -hmm. yes or no. You can be honest because I will not know who will respond. Okay. yes right so as you can see here some of the question if there was something wrong with me i would see it first which is great you know rather than pretending i have from trusting or fighting my leaders that's no which is good 82 percent said no okay i like to stay do or say things and ensure people think well of me people pleasing so most of us might think like, yeah, I am a pleasing person. It's good to please people, but yeah, there is something, there is a, there is a little seed. So if you see here, not for all 10 questions, we do not like, yes, it's fully 0% or no is 0% mix of both. So which means that when it comes to pride, we might have like, like similar to anger, some of us have more, some of us have less, but it's important to know that, okay? Now, when it comes to pride, okay, it's when I say pride here is is uh, I'm not I'm not talking about being proud of what you are, or like don't be proud of what you are or what you've achieved, okay? That is not what I'm talking about. But the pride here I'm talking about here is uh, when pride goes beyond a normal expression of self celebration. That is dangerous, okay? To celebrate yourself, yes, please go ahead and do that, okay? Please do that. But if it goes beyond that, okay, the, the synonym of pride, it becomes arrogant, you become arrogant, you become self-centered and egocentric, okay? Which is, we don't want, that is what we don't want, right? So when it comes to pride, one second, let me just check. There are some of the, I'm sorry, how my okay some of the examples of pride here we can see okay being offended now you might think like how can i that be a pride issue when being offended okay okay easily hurt are people there are people who are easily hurt easily irritated or easily offended that is also a sign of pride why because it is like a swollen infection wound it becomes so sensitive over sensitive okay then then what happen is so you become so sensitive that little things irritates you or offends you when it doesn't meet your standard or your expectation that is scary it's very very scary okay all of us do all people not not all people make us happy or they they, they agree with us Okay, but but if you start becoming offended by small, small thing, my dear friend, keep a check. Is it, are you having this wound, which is like, an, uh, you know, it's like having a big blister. Okay, like any moment, if you don't take care, that blister will burst. It's like that. You're living in that kind of a situation or, 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 or a time. So let's not be being offended, like oversensitive. Bitterness, okay. Are you a person who 
who, who take care of bitterness, have a hard time letting go of your hurts. That also can be a sign of pride. Okay. Why? Because we, we treat bitterness like a pet. We feed it, we take care of it. Okay. So even if the people who hurt you wants to, 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 to come and, and have and be in good terms with you, you said, no, you hurt me. So I'm not going to be, uh, I refuse to see the goodness which you have because I have this bitterness which you've given me. So you've taken care of that bitterness as a pet, which is bad. Okay. And also, how many, many of you have had a reaction from a friend or a family member telling you that, Hey, don't listen to me. Listen to what I want to say. Maybe you're a bad listener, right? Like I don't, whatever I think is correct, whatever I do is correct. So whatever I decide is correct. So why should I listen to you? So you become a bad listener. Unteachable, okay. There are some people who said, no, I know it all, which I'm sure most of us are not like that. That's why we are still here today. We want to learn something new, right? Negative perspective of other people, ignoring people's attempt to communicate with you, unwilling to submit to authority, saying like, no, I, I am old enough now. I can take my own decision. So please, maybe, right? It might be just a simple thing of maybe our family member are concerned about how we eat. They come and tell us like, you know, I don't think so you should eat so, 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 but because I have pride, and like, well, who are you? I am old enough to decide what I want to eat. Right. But maybe they just say it because they love you. Right. And there's many, many more. So I'm going to share with you one PDF later and just go through it. You will be surprised that these are the signs that I'm not saying we have pride issues, but we do have pride. And by knowing it, what happens, like I said, it is wise for us to be aware of signs of pride in ourselves. It's very important. Why? Because the synonym of pride is arrogant, self-centeredness, and egocentric. But there is the antonym of pride as well, and that is humility. Right? So the only way we can, we can be humble, only if we are aware that, oh, yes, I do have these small, small traits or small, small behavior, which, which might lead to a bigger pride. It might be just a 1% pride now, but if we keep doing it, it might be bigger and bigger and bigger. So let's us, let us focus on the antonym, antonym of pride, which is humility, which is very, very important because like I say here is a man's pride like in the Bible, okay, I love the Bible because it teaches give us so much with I mean advice and words of God, which is so nice. Okay, it really helped to build our life. And what I like about this is a, pride, a man's pride shall bring him low. One second, one second, one second. Okay, okay. So a man's pride will bring him low. So there's one thing I remember when I was growing up as a teen. Okay. Is it echoing? Okay. As a teenager, so I always have this small prayer in my heart. I say, God, please help me to, you know, to, to help me to, to recognize the pride if I have in my life. So, but there are times where I get so carried away. So I just don't care, but I think so we should care. Okay. Very, very important. So these are some of the, how do we overcome pride? Stop trying to prove others wrong. Okay. If, if there are people who want to misunderstand you, it's okay, leave it, but just be good. That's very important. Don't try to do everything yourself, okay? Everybody are blessed with strength and weaknesses. So if, give other people a chance, even though if you see their weaknesses, give them a chance, okay? Don't try to be better than other people. You don't have to be, don't try. All of us are different. All of us are created differently. All of us are blessed differently. So let us be happy with that and a prideful heart must be purified because what happened is we might just change for a moment thinking, oh yes now I understand I realize I'm not going to do it but that needs a continuation it doesn't stop because you have to check your heart okay and see that because just a change of behavior doesn't change we have to keep on doing it keep working on it and very importantly learn to love yourself if you make mistakes it's okay 
Okay, love yourself, give yourself a chance and then move forward. That's important. Rather than staying behind and crying about it, like, oh yes, I have a problem, I have a problem. Great that you realize you have a problem, but move ahead. Love yourself, okay? And stop being too hard on yourself, okay? And the last one is, how do I overcome pride? Is you can't do it on your own. What do you mean by that? Okay, I, you can't do it on your own. Hey, I'm a superhuman being, I'll do it on my own. No, you can't, you need help, okay? And the biggest person who can help us is God. He's one, one second. Sorry. It was my son. Okay, sorry. Okay, so what I was saying is we can't do it on our own. Okay, so we need God intervention in our lives to help us come out from this. Okay, to come out from this. And like I said, here is be humble. Why? Because we have nothing to be proud about. Because be humble. Oops. Be humble and never think that you are better than anyone else because from thus you are and thus you will be done. Yes or no? And just a few days ago, I was uh, sitting in and I saw one picture and was showing what to my, I was sharing with my daughter. We saw a picture of a man, a very wealthy man. He was, he was going to his grave and there was a, you know, he was, and then he was carrying bags and bags of his money and everything. And he wants to go in his grave with money. And he said, I'm so sorry, no baggage allowed. Okay. So there's nothing to be proud about. It's, but very importantly is, and let's be humble because humility is one very important virtue every human must have. But you need to possess it in a way that glorifies God, not to glorify yourself, right? God, our creator. I mean, no matter what religion you've come from here, you know, the, what, whoever you are, the, your lifestyle, what you live, is always remember you were living a life, being a good human being, not because you're pleasing people, but because you, your life, is a life which glorifies God. Yes, so that is P. So we finish S for selfie. We finish H for happiness. A is for anger. P is for pride. So can we have the last letter, which is E. Can anybody help me? What will E be? Emptiness. Emptiness, okay. Thanks, Kansai. Okay, anybody else? Motion. Emotion, okay, okay. Energy. Energy, okay, okay. Anybody else? Okay, Ego. Time is yes, Larry? Ego. Ego, we just spoke about pride, ego. <laughs> I don't think that you want, you want me to speak again on ego, right? Yeah. Okay, let me just flip my notes. Where am I? Okay. Okay. When it comes to E. So when it comes to E, the last letter here is empathy, right? And I'm sure all of us are aware, I mean, are familiar with this word empathy. Okay, in a world where there's so much of hurt, where there's so much of um, isolation, loneliness, one thing which can help us to build our emotional well-being is to be a person who can empathize with the other person, to really understand what the other person is going through or you know what the other person is thinking or is feeling, that we can really empathize and see and start to see the situation from that person's perspective is very, very important. Okay, because now empathy here, I, I love this picture here. Okay, it, it just sum it up everything. When it comes to empathy, it is, it is, uh, it is your, it, it hears your emotion, it understands emotion, it's compassion, it's compassion, it's communication. Empathy is not only with people, but also with yourself. Okay, now sometimes, sometimes we become so hard on ourselves that when we do things wrong, we stop trying to understand ourselves. But I want to encourage you this evening is have empathy with yourself as well. Okay. And then it is also a mutual awareness of needs, the presence of warmth. That's what we need in this world now. We need people and, and you know, all of us have this quality to empathize. But what happened is, again, it's just like anger. We have a choice. We have a choice. 
we have a choice to ignore and walk our way. We have a choice to pause and try to listen what the other person is experiencing or is going through. We have a choice. And th that's how we can help build our own emotional well being and also the emotional well being of people in our lives, in our relationship. The relationship which we have is not just about, you know, staying together, eating together, and talking once in a while, but it's just about how, do I empathize? Do I try? I'm not saying we're going to be successful, but do I try at least to connect, to listen? Do I try to create a safe space for that person to come to you and be vulnerable, to open up themselves? That's very, very important. Yeah. So I think so that's why we can. Because like they say, I have here two verses is, let every person be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to anger. Okay, because you're far happier giving than getting. Because most of us, we think a lot like, what, what, what do I get from here? What do I benefit if I do this? What, what, what? But we think that's how situation program us that we think so much about what we get, right? But let, I want to encourage you to this, this evening is let us start giving, giving maybe one minute of your time to empathize with your friend with your brother or sister or a spouse or a child you know just just empathize put yourself in their shoes and try to feel what they're feeling try to feel the emotions which is going on because that is what we need in this hour, right because like that there is the thing is because being emotionally healthy you know what is a gift from god which is amazing but we should not keep it to ourselves like I said, you are far happier when you give, okay? Even God says that he can't allow a situation that rocks your boat, okay? You might be in a situation which is like, you don't know, you don't know my situation, what I go through. It's easy for you to say like that. You don't know. Yes, God do put situation, but also he can humble you at any moment. That's, that is how powerful is our God, okay? And also, emotional gift is a gift. If we are emotionally healthy, it's a gift, not just to ourselves, but also to the people around us in our lives. Okay, because like they say, like like this, there's a verse here which says, "Is live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, be as, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise on your own." Which means that let us be with each other. Let us be there for each other. Which is very very important. Okay, and but you say, but 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 if I do that, they'll know my weaknesses. But if I spend too much time with them, they'll know who I am. Who I am. It's okay. Okay, allow yourself to be weak and accept help if you need help. That's very important. Don't worry. You will you will eventually be in a place where you are the one helping others. Maybe at the moment it. No, I am not in the situation to empathize. I cannot. I am not in the worst situation. I am the in the lowest of all this. You know, but I will say this, give it a try. Give it a try because your story can help somebody to overcome. Okay? And we don't have to pretend to be okay. It's okay to not have it all together. God created all of us to be special and feel beautiful and treasured. You have to believe you're amazing. Even when you have nothing, that's true, okay? And that is true self-love and humility. When you, when you realize that you have nothing, but you're still willing to give, that is called self-love and humility. Yes? So my dear friend, let us, work on being emotionally let, let us work to be on shape and i'm sure this lockdown some of you are you know working out because you're at home some of you are like eh, it's time for me to relax let me sleep more so we are taking care of ourselves right so let's take care of our emotional well-being let us work to be on shape okay let's focus on the shape are we working out are we are we working to be in shape when it comes to our emotions, because it's so, so important. And do not worry about judgment, okay, judgmental people, okay? Focus on your goal, 
and being a good person because you will be rewarded. So again, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I will hand over the time to uh, Sir Sunny. All right. Thank you so much. I think uh, it's not just uh, becoming an ape, so we can be an ape in shape. So guys, yeah. So you remember that it's a being, uh, you know, of, uh, Mam was just saying selfie because he was not there in the last class, but then we're talking about being, you know, social, uh, you know, media can affect us. Then of course we need to get back to happiness. Of course, we need to check on an anger. We need to check our pride. I love one question that one of our, uh, you know, participants uh, have asked. Uh, what is the difference between pride and ego? Okay, so I, I just gave a funny definition. I said, yeah, ego is all about edging God out. And sometimes it's just like an inner wear. It's important you wear it, but you don't have to show it, you know? <laughs> yeah, but then at the end of the day, uh, pride is uh, basically, you know, uh, trying to accomplish something and, you know, uh, being arrogant to accomplish something. Whereas uh, ego is all about the uh, self-satisfaction. It's all about, you know, the thing that you're looking from within yourself. Uh, but then, yes, it, it has got a very similar connection. But then, yes, you know, when I talk about emotional, uh, and me sorry, mental health, it's all of us want mental health. But when we start diving in, my God. And then I realize I have to check on my anger and check on my pride and so on and so forth, my happiness. So there are a lot of things that we need to, and we're completely ignoring and we just say we are mentally stressed out. And, you know, so thank you so much, Eva, for uh, helping us. So, uh, you know, I'm going to challenge you guys next week. We're going to have a pep talk on on, on uh, mental health. So when I say pep talk, you, you can uh, just get the heads up. It's not going to be the literal meaning of pep talk, but it's going to be something, uh, you know, that I'm going to keep it as a surprise package. So uh, it will not, will not take much of your time, guys. Thank you for sharing your uh, midweek with us uh, this evening. And we'll continue next time again on mental health. Uh, I don't know if I have, there's somebody who's asked a question. Okay, no, okay. So great. So uh, do invite your friends. We meet every Thursday at 6 p.m. and, uh, you know, on different topics. And of course, if you need prayer, please let us know if any of your loved and dear ones uh, need prayer in such a time as this, where, you know, they go through a, a lot of mental stress and mental uh, issues and, you know, because of things that's going around us. But then uh, nonetheless, you can reach us. Let us know how can we help you guys you know we can only pray with you guys of course you can also invite your friends around and if you have questions doubts and you would like to just stay in touch with us uh, do text us and we can always have an appointment with you and spend some time with you guys you know on a one-on-one -on -one as well so uh god bless you guys once again thank you so much uh, have a good dinner and have a good night's sleep guys so one minute just want yes. to you sorry i i'm, I'm gonna share i'm gonna share you uh, to you the pdf and you can share with everyone because i can't share to everyone here i'll just send it to you the pdf which i was talking about got it sir yes yes just got go it. through you it just need to just download it in the it chat box yeah. You guys can download it. Uh, I'll, I'll give you guys some time to download. Yes. Because I mean, I, I will encourage all of you to just uh, download it, read it, share it. Okay, yeah. share it. It's so important for all of us. It's, it's, it's all the, it's, 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 the, the, it's just a question to you. I mean, these are just simple questions and the answer you give yes or no, it's up to you. But, you know, you just see how. So. So when you read through the, the 41 evidence, right, movie, there are 41 points, just answer to yourself with this yes or no. And then at least we will know with, with what level are we there? Are we struggling with pride? Because pride is one thing which if we allow it to grow, like I said earlier, it is it might lead us to destruction. So the earlier we identify the seat and remove it, it's good for us. Okay, so thank you so much, guys.